a tribute to the young and the restless star, Christoph St. John. So, Crystal, you say Christoph start looking out for you doing your screen test to play his daughter? Yes. How yeah. so? Well, I mean, you know, everyone knows Christoph is the most open-hearted, generous, loving person you could ever meet. And it was the same thing, screen test, where it was four other girls and me. And he came into each and every one of our rooms to talk with us. And I was like, hey, are you nervous? How are you feeling? Let's run lines together. And I didn't know at the time, because I was 14, that wasn't normal. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, like, oh, this is great. We just get to do this. But now that I know, he didn't have to do that. And he came and ran lines with us. And I remember it was a very emotional scene where I had to cry. And I get down on set. And, you know, as an actor, you're always worried, OK, can I cry? Is it going to happen? And, you know, am I going to mess it up? And I get on set, and it was like I didn't even have to act. I just, I'd never act, acted with an actor that was just so generous. Mm -hmm. And I could feel his energy just, like, there. And I was so present. And I was bawling my eyes out. Mm -hmm. And I know that because of him, I got the job. And same thing, I feel like I wouldn't be here, have my, the career that I have if it weren't for Kristoff. Wow. Now, one of the last times you four were all on screen together was when Brighton's character had an encounter with a lion. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Brighton, I hear that you, Kristoff, and Shamar, you guys had to have special training, which I would oh, yeah. expect for this lion situation. What happened? Tell well, me about this. They wanted us to feel comfortable. Oh, there it is. Well, I haven't seen it since. That's real. That's real. That's real feel. <laughs> I wasn't acting that day. <laughs> was right there. No, they wanted us to feel comfortable for I'm sure you remember. They took you me, and, and, and stuff to, um, to the facility where they raised yeah. the lion. Mm -hmm. And they took it out and started walking it with us, just on this chain leash. And the three of us just walking along, and the trainer's talking, telling us about it. And the three of us aren't paying attention at all. All we're talking about is what directions are we going to go if the lion <laughs> decides to do what it wants yeah. to do. Right. And I knew I only had to outrun two people. <laughs> Real fast. Both of us. What's funny is I, I've, I've loved lions my whole life. You know, I was out of the country when I was a kid in Ghana, and I saw lions for the first time. My mother said I fell in love with the big cat. <laughs> Later in life, Br Br Brighton and I both have lion tattoos. You know what I mean? Oh, and, they went and, all the way. Yeah, so we both, we both, I have a, I have a lion tattoo on my shoulder. Yours yeah, is, same for you. same, yeah, exactly. we both have lion tattoos. But my thing is, as much as I love lions, I ain't trying to be no lion state. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, you know, I respect the lion. So that day, Brighton was out there like this. I was like, you're doing more than me. I was behind the cage. Like, We're shooting this scene behind the fence. And, yeah. Right. Yeah, you're not getting in the way. Well, don't go away. We still have more with Christoph St. John's Young and the Restless Family when we come right back.